Next time they shine your light in the sky, don't go to it. The bat is dead. Well, here I am. Be their hero, Clark. Be their monument. Be anything they need you to be. Or be none of it. You don't owe this world a thing. You never did. Now, you will battle to the death. If I wanted it, you'd be dead already. You're not brave. Men are brave. Hey YouTubers, it's Charlie. The wait is over, shit is going down this week. Some of you are probably seeing the movie as we speak. Please do not spoil it for the rest of us. So what I'm gonna do is a breakdown of all the fights that Batman and Superman have had in the comics including the Frank Miller stuff, which is technically off in its own universe. It's not canon to the main comics. They've fought at least nine times. I'm not including Justice League Dark Side War because you could look at that as like a Batman v Superman situation, but, but not in the literal sense as these other examples are. So here we go. First time, JLA number 44 back in 2000. Batman, really paranoid, keeps files on all of the big Justice League members, what their weaknesses are, what all their secrets are. Those get stolen for the purposes of taking down Superman. The actual plan to take down Superman doesn't really work quite as well as the bad guys hope it did. Fight number two, Batman number 612. Superman gets mind controlled by Poison Ivy, attacks Batman. Batman has to put Lois Lane in danger to snap Superman out of it. Fight number three, Adventures of Superman number 642. Maxwell Lord mind controls Superman to beat the shit out of Batman. Fight number four, Superman Batman number 33. Batman gets mind controlled by aliens. Superman has to pretend like he's ready to kill him in order to stop the fight. Fight number five, this is actually the first one of the new 52. Justice League number two, Batman and Superman totally distrust each other. They come to blows, but Batman's able to stop it once he explains to Superman what his intentions are. They actually kind of did a version of this in the animated DC movie Justice League War, where Batman and Superman aren't super friendly the first time that they meet. Fight number six, Batman the Dark Knight number five. Scarecrow doses Batman with his fear toxin. He goes after Superman, who takes him down like a sack of potatoes. Batman recovers. Fight number seven, Batman number 36, Superman gets affected with the Joker toxin, goes after Batman who takes him down with kryptonite. Isn't it funny how you see them flipping the script from fight to fight? Like one gets mind controlled, then in the next fight the other guy gets mind controlled, then somebody gets dosed with a toxin, then in the next fight the other guy gets dosed with a toxin. Fights number 8 and 9 are from the Frank Miller stuff. So we have the Dark Knight Returns where Batman, an old Batman, goes after Superman, who he thinks has become a tool of the fascist government. The next fight, number nine, is just the sequel comic to that, Dark Knight Returns 2. And there is a Dark Knight 3, so they might actually end up fighting again, but it doesn't seem like it's going to go down that way, and they haven't finished the run, so that could be fight number 10. If you guys know about any other actual fights, like fist fights, that Batman and Superman have gotten to in the comics, just write them below in the comments. I really just tried to look at the times where they were actually throwing fists at each other. And usually Batman's solution is kryptonite because Superman, as strong as he is, is very susceptible to mind control and magic. That is why Batman typically carries that kryptonite ring around on his utility belt. It's not like he keeps it locked up in a safe. He keeps it on his person just in case. Because Batman is one of those characters that's run every possible scenario. And amongst all the Justice League members, he is the cynic. Superman is both the metaphorical and literal source of hope in the Justice League. Batman is the guy who feels like eventually something is going to turn and things are going to go to shit, so he's going to be prepared. In related news, if you guys didn't see it, I am doing a DC giveaway for two IMAX tickets for Batman v Superman. What's going to happen is there's a new episode of The Flash this week. The giveaway will end whenever I post that video, so I'll announce the winner in that video. And they have been posting a whole bunch of stuff, so I'll do a new Flash video sometime later tonight. But I'm also doing a new Gotham video. The Gotham video will post to my Facebook page. It's just facebook.com slash emergencyawesome. There is another Daredevil video that I'm working on. I don't know exactly which order I'm going to post those videos in. So just look to my Twitter and Facebook for updates on when videos are posting. There's just like a whole bunch of really awesome stuff happening this week. Hopefully you guys have made it through most of Daredevil so far. You can click here for my first Daredevil Easter egg video, and you can click here for my Captain America Civil War post-credit video. 
Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Let's high five. I'll see you guys tonight.